What's going on guys, welcome to part 4 of my 3D printed egg scale chassis. So just like the other part, I would like to show the failed part. The first one is the rotor. My design was not a good idea. After I put the motor on and it break right here. It was a weak point. So I had to change this design to this one. Right now the pin is here, is the strongest part right now, instead of being here. So that's the first modification I did. And also the rotor 4 millimeter wider than the old one, so the car will be wider. I already put the three rotors on and now I'm gonna put this one on. Okay, next we're gonna put the servo on. I already 3D printed the tie rods. Uh, it's a 3D printed one with M3 bolts inserted in. So we're gonna put them on. The only design I don't like it is the angle of the, this M3 bolt because you have to adjust it till you get it right. If you have a good idea, let me know. I will change the design. The problem with this design is I had to use the M3 bolts here because the tire is very close here. If it's 3D printed, it's gonna be thick and the tire will rub. That's why I had to use M3 bolts because it's gonna be a metal and it's gonna be a strong part even if it's thin. So yeah, if you have a good idea, let me know. I will change it. I'm gonna be using this 15 kilo servo, it's from Arma. I had to replace mine because it was kinda slow. I don't think I will have a problem with it. Yes, I already installed the front motor and next I'm gonna install the rear motor and the ESCs. These ESCs are 16 amps and I'm gonna put two of these and two 3S type of batteries.
so I had to replace the gears. I thought it's brittle, but it was too brittle. Uh, it break in the first run. So I had to change it with the PLA gears. And right now the tires not glued to the rim because I may paint it or change the rim. Uh, so it's gonna be temporary on the rim. Uh, I think it's gonna be a whole done good. So yeah, let's take it for a test drive. See it's gonna run. It's really heavy now. The shocks can't handle the weight. I may change the spring, see how it's gonna go. Okay guys, we are back in the shop and I'm pretty impressed with the result. The only problem we had is the hub. It's a resin 3D printed and it's really brittle. I have to change it with the FDM one. I think I have it. I'm gonna put them on later. But overall, pretty impressed with the result. Also, the drive shaft didn't have any problem, but I'm gonna have to replace it because it was rubbing here when the suspension is really high. I already ordered one and I'm gonna have to replace this one and i had another problem the shocks it's still not oil filled but can't hold the weight so i may change the springs or or fill the shock with oil see it's gonna solve that problem but overall it run really good i know so many of you asked me for the stl file so i'm gonna put the stl file in the video description box below but i think it's not gonna be the final product i may change things here and there so you have to change it with me but overall it looks good for so far and the gears these are the PLA FDM gears and it held up pretty good I'm gonna replace the hubs with the FDM one and I'm gonna take it for a test drive again so stay tuned for that so that's it for this video hope you like the project if you like like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye for now